when they announced Inside Out 2 and released the trailer, the movie was one movie that I felt very excited and curious about because the other Inside Out movie, the first one, was good enough as a standalone Pixar movie. But I guess they wanted to explore new things of how Riley would go when she gets older and where in this movie she'll become a teenager. And I think that's kind of an interesting idea. And so today I want uh, th this June until the 14th when Inside Out 2 comes out. I want to do something similar I did with Wish where it's like watch and review a movie and one extra show for its excitement and journey to it. And this one, it will be the journey to Inside Out 2. Begin the intro. Orange? Who made the console orange? Do I look orange? I didn't touch it. Orange is not my color. Not me. Hello. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? So 52 years after the original was released, Disney decided to make a sequel to Cinderella, Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True. And if you've seen my review for the preparation Disney's Wish back in November 2023, I really love the, first, the original as a true classic, the animation is wonderful, the mind sequences are hilarious, uh, the Backgrounds look nice. Uh, the music is nice to listen to and hum as well. And the story is a simple story, but that's okay. I love that first movie. And when I went, when I was going to watch this film, I was gonna think that was gonna have one of the worst movies of all time. <laughs> It's not one of the worst movies of all time, not even close. But I thought this film was okay. Because there's nothing like super good or spectacular about it. It's just a standard f children's animation entertainment for DVD. <laughs> I'll give some praise. Because the way the movie plays out is that it's a, more of an anthology movie where the mice and the fairy godmother tell their own stories of a continuation of the Cinderella. And the first half of it is about Cinderella preparing for the dance at the, that, well, the, there's this woman that reminds me a lot of the Lady Tremendai. Because of her evil personality and attitude towards Cinderella, which feels weird to say since Lady Terminator appears at the final part of the movie. And while well, then Cinderella, after do finishing the preparation to the dance, everyone starts dancing and Cinderella and Char Prince Charming live happily ever after. And then, then second part, uh, Jack, uh, is the mouse, the main mouse, had a hard time being a mouse because the, there's this lady that is attacking mouse a lot, and he, Jack feels bad about it, and then Jack was trying to talk to Cinderella, but, but a bunch of wheat and horse stopped him from doing that and decided to make a wish to become a human named Sir Hugh. <laughs> Meanwhile, a cat tries to catch Jack. Hmm, haven't seen that before in Cinderella. <laughs> uh, tries to get him in different ways somehow. I don't know how, how that cat was able to find him in different ways. <laughs> Um, but then 
his life as a human is not going so well. And he decided to go back to become a mouse again. Which I think was probably my favorite one of them all because it's the most interesting one. Uh, like this mouse who was helping uh, Cinderella throughout the first movie decides to become human after making a bunch of mistakes. And being a mouse makes things much better than being a human. Um, and then the third part is about Anastasia feeling more romantic than before and much nicer since especially when she met a baker and when Cinderella knows about this she decided to help her to impress Baker. Meanwhile Lucifer who somehow survived the fall in the original I guess she has more eight li eight more lives. I don't know. But while attacking mice he fell for the same cat from the second part, and it was and the made the main deal with a mice to have to impress the cat, but then he betrays the mouse to get the to get them alongside the cat. But once it failed, the cat broke up with Lucifer, and and the deal was off between the mice and Lucifer. And never gets resolved, which is quite messed up. And, mm. and then uh, Anastasia n was heartbroken for a little bit when she when she saw Baker with someone else. I guess her sister or his sister or friend. I don't know. But then Baker noticed it, noticed her, and decided. But then followed her and get, managed to give her a flower. But then late feminine is against doing her doing this. But Anastasia refused it. And then as with the dance. So I'll be, give. So I think this movie is fine because this movie has doesn't have something horrible in it. <laughs> It's just, it's just nothing. It's just, it's just a standard children's movie. And this movie is not a musical, by the way. Though there are two songs, though they're not, though you don't see their characters' mouth moves. So I guess there's like voice, like song voices in their head. Maybe kind of like the one from Lion King's 2. Or even like the one where Cinderella and Prince Charlie were singing without saying in their vo mouths at the dance in the original. Who knows? Uh, any animation, well, it has, still has the nicer drawn like the original, and it's much better drawn than Mulan 2. It still has the feel of a direct-to-DVD animated feature, which is what it is. Uh, the voice acting, of course, all of them are recast because either most of them are dead or some have gone aged up like it was before 2010 or the guy who was charming before 2018. So they're gotten older so, so it would feel weird to have the, them voicing the characters who are still the same age as the ones from the original. And I think most of them try to replicate, try their best to replicate the ones from the original, while others feel a little miscast. And that's just me. Um. And yeah, that's all I can say about uh Cinderella to Dreams Come True. I don't think I have desires to watch Cinderella three. Do I did think there are some good reviews of it? I don't know, but let me know in the comments below. Do I think I should watch Cinderella 3? But this is my review for Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True for the Journey to Inside Out 2.